a new data source I already have I already created dbml file so I'll just go for align queue I change this one into uh, view contacts or else I can say contact contacts data source okay now in this area you already it's already go, going to this class you see it's a line queue example dot db class data context so that that's good in this area I'll say I can write the query whatever you want so I'll just go here and I'll write you know whatever you want you can say but it's a star I put the star and you can you can enable the automatic delete insert update whatever you want so you can say order by what kind of sort you need I'll say I don't want to do anything I just automatically I need whatever you say I just say simply yes so you see automatically you can see the names and all and if I run this one you can see the data okay so for example if I add something in this area I'll say survey I'll say one two three I'll say Adam. so you can see the data is added that's pretty cool huh now what we do is we need to edit the data so I can write the different page or I can write for the same page whatever the add contact is doing but it's a it's a good thing that we can go for new page okay so I'll just go here and I'll add one more page I'll just go to the web and select the web form and I'll say uh, up so up date contact so here it's a simple the same thing I need I'll just go to ASPX page and I'll just copy the whole thing uh, from here to table to right so I'm just gonna place it in this area and I'll say btn I'll change this one update and text will be the update as well and here and this click I'll remove this it automatically generates so I want that that's good so now what we do is whenever I click I need a something which is really good so I just go here I'll, I'll add new column okay so now in this area I'll say I'm um, really sorry I'll say template fill in this in this area I'll write what um. I don't want to write anything I just say okay so here I'll I'm gonna add whatever you want I'd say edit template in this item template I'll I'm just gonna add a link button okay so in this link button I'll uh, edit the button uh, okay one two oh, I'm sorry I'll just say this one is properties I'm sorry uh, misled you I'm really sorry really sorry Eight columns I'll say remove okay now uh, and new columns in this I'll say hyperlink field in this specified text I say edit here in the specific URL I'll say what kind of data you need to pass it I'll say this one uh, ID so in this I say update URL string I'll say update contact dot ASPX okay question and the field is calls to I equals to ID equals to zero so okay so now you can see that so whenever you click on it for example if I run this one you see when I'm passing this you can see what kind of you can see the particular ID which is passing in this area which is 2 so that's good so now what we have to do is I just go here uh, I'll just close this one and go into this one I'll say update first thing I'll, I'll 
I'll write in the page load event so the when the page is loaded it, it's, a, it's gonna get the data so before doing that I'll initialize I'll create my object outside of the I mean as a public so DB is equals to new DB sorry about that now what you do is I'll say back hat QRY is equals to from M then to retrieving the values we write this query okay so this is the very simple query okay it is uh, which is just like uh, you know database query but it's a uh, some form of the change it changed the f something syntax with this is called uh, uh, actually this is called an align queue which is a query that we're going to use for the ali uh, in align queue so this is the syntax first we write form then we write any variable in db dot tc con table context so whenever I say this it automatically gets the, those properties whatever the properties in the that context table it automatically assigned to this area so I'll write where condition I am dot ID equals to you see I'll write request dot query string which is you know I'll say ID and uh, before doing that you see this one is a uh, ID is int so I'll say convert dot to int 32 of no so sorry uh, select space yeah. so now what happens is it's uh, it it's gonna get where condition and those ID value it will store in particular st it will all stored in the var QR so to get those values uh, I'm really sorry now what we do is we're gonna fetch those values so I write for each I'll write var q n q r y so it's a very simple that's a txt name dot text is equals to a q dot name that's it and a txt the phone dot text is equals to q dot phone now I got it so that's really cool now let's execute the program so that we can see okay execute the default aspx so you can see this and you'll see i'm gonna ch you can get the values of particular id that's real good now uh, i'll just go here sorry about that now in the update you know in the update we're gonna write the same thing whatever we have we have here so I'll just say I'll write one more function which is called uh, private okay it's or else void get sorry about that get data so in this here I'm just gonna write this one okay so get that so here whenever I'm writing this you have to write this query you must have to write this query first whenever you are getting this data and all you must write this query so what we do is writing this query okay I'm just gonna copy and paste it in the for each I'm just gonna write this one as well here in this area uh, I'm just making this complicated but I so you can manipulate whatever uh, how can you how do you how do you want okay so before i mean you can create the function and get uh, you can write a query in a one one area and you can call that function that would be great you know so to get the values and updates and all uh, okay so now what we do is uh, q dot mm, sorry q dot name is equals to txt name dot text okay q 
dot phone is equals to txt phone dot text now after doing this you write simply write db dot submit changes it automatically change the value we'll try to see that one and uh, response dot redirect i'll say default dot spx so i'm really sorry not see the value of anything so So default dot aspects I'll say this one now I'll change this one so update but it's not updating and, uh, to solve that problem I initialize the string which is name and uh, phone before the load before page is loading I'm I'm assigning the values to this area you can see this now what we do is uh, we can just get the values what, uh, whenever it's a page is loading it will store the values in name and phone whenever you click uh, update button it also getting to the page load and now we uh, what we have to do uh, I mean it works fine right now so wh what we do is we request a form now I'll just say it this way uh, 